Eyes is rising, eyes are turning to you. We turn to you. Hope is stirring, hearts are yearning for you. We long for you. Cause when we see you, we find strength to face the day. In your presence, all our fears are washed away. Washed away, Hosanna, Hosanna, you are the God who saves us, worthy of all our praises, Hosanna, Hosanna, come out
Good evening and welcome to tonight's midweek service and also welcome to our house to house teams and I really believe that by now you are already fellowshipping and having an awesome time in the presence of God. And tonight we're continuing with the, with the series Greater Than. God is greater than. And tonight we're going to go a little bit deeper into the topic of God is greater than my reality. We all have a reality that we are facing. And especially during the times that we find ourselves in, everybody's reality is different. And the amazing thing is that God is bigger than your current reality and for the next couple of weeks we're still going to continue with the greater than series and i just want to invite you to join us on this amazing journey and especially with the journey that we're going on tonight of god is greater than my reality and you know as human beings we are weak and we are fragile i mean many times we we hear the the phrase I am just human. And that clearly shows us that we are weak. We are just fragile. But we also know that God is so much greater than all our weaknesses or than any weakness in our life. And it is actually in our weaknesses that God reveals how great He actually is. When we are weak, He is strong. And you know, it's amazing when we are going through a time of weakness, we really need to to draw from God. If you find out there's a place of weakness in our lives, man, then we need to 100% rely on God so, and to turn that weakness into a victory, to turn that failure into something positive. And now we're going to go into God is greater than my reality. You know, fear is a reality in our lives. Most people have fear. Everybody is afraid of something, whether it's a failure, whether it is a spider, whether it is a cockroach. Everybody has some kind of fear in their lives. It might be physical, it might be emotional fear, or maybe you're even afraid of dying. But I want to read to you 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. It says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I'm going to repeat it. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but he gave you a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind, not of fear. So just think for a moment about the fears in your life. What are you afraid of currently in your life, physically, emotionally, and spiritually? And I want you to leave you for a couple of minutes with this question. What do you fear? And what is your greatest fear in life? Now, you need to know that God is greater than that specific fear. So now you have discussed what you are fearing. You have discussed what your greatest fears are. Now know this. God is greater than any one of those fears. And I want you to actually say it in your, in, in your, uh, uh, in your homes tonight. I want you to, to actually say it. If you're alone in your house, say it. Utter it aloud. Say, God, you are greater than my fear. And then you name that fear by name. Take authority over it. God, you are greater than my fear of death. God, you are greater than my fear of, of, finan of finances not coming through. God, you are greater than my fear of losing a loved one. Utter it now. And now we're going to go to the, to the second part of tonight. And that is God is greater than my world. Now, it's got to do with, a, a, with an outer battle. We all face challenges on a daily basis. Everybody 
faces challenges in life. And we all experience different seasons in our lives. And the amazing thing is that everyone finds themselves in different seasons. The person sitting next to you right now in your, uh, in your house to house group, they, they're in a different season of their lives. They're experiencing a different spiritual season even. And it, it's just so amazing. And that also tells us that the challenges that we face are different many times. But the things that we go through, the challenges that we overcome, can speak of a testimony. It becomes part of our story, part of, of what we can share so that someone else can learn from that as well. And you know, the enemy will always try to steal, kill, and destroy. When we look at John 10 verse 10, it says, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You know, this is part of our, uh, our battle, part of the challenges that we go through. The enemy will always try to come and steal what God is busy with. He will always try to come and kill in your life. And he will always come and try to destroy. Whether it's physical, in your physical health, he will try to come and kill. He will try to come and steal. He will try to come and destroy. Whether it's your finances, whether it's your family life. And that's why we always need to be on the watch out. And know this. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it, in, have it more abundantly. So know this, our God, the God that we serve, is greater than any challenge that comes over our path. So the second question that I want you to ponder on for a moment or two is the following. In what ways is the enemy trying to steal, kill, and destroy in your life? You see, the thing is we need to know, we need to identify the places in our lives where the enemy is trying to steal, where he's trying to kill, and where he's trying to, to destroy. Because then we can address it. Then we can address it and say, no, 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 no. My God is greater than this. No, my God is greater than what the enemy is trying to steal. My God is greater than... And then we come to the third part of tonight, and that is God is greater than my emotions. You know, we are all emotional beings. We are humans. We are emotional. And we deal with our emotions in various different ways. Every person deals with their emotions differently. You get people that, that, that deal with their emotions in a positive way, but then they, you get people that deal with their emotions in a negative way. And the thing is, as humans, we are often driven by our emotions. And emotions causes us to act before we think. And it is, in fact, a battle that is going on in our minds. And the scary thing is that we often ponder on a scenario that does not even exist or didn't even happen yet. And then we get all emotional about it, even though it is not real. We, we create this world in our heads that didn't even happen yet. And then we get emotional over that. Something that we created in our own minds, in our own world. But we need to conquer these battles that are raging in our minds. And that we actually create. You know, Romans 12 verse 1 to 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So know this, and I want you to just for a moment think about this, the following question. How do you overcome your emotions?
Now that we've gone through all these questions, notice God is greater than my reality. God is greater than my current reality. He's greater than my fears. He's greater than my emotions. And he's greater than any challenges that might come my way. Let's pray and then I will bless you and release you and you can continue having fellowship within the different house to houses. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for who you are. Lord, thank you that we can know that you are greater. You are greater than my reality. You are greater than what is currently busy raging in my mind. You are greater than my emotions. You are greater than any challenges that try to come my way. Lord, I pray for my family tonight. Lord, I pray that you will protect them. I pray that you will be with them. Lord, I pray for every person listening, Lord, Every, everything that the, the enemy tries to steal, tries to kill, and tries to destroy, Lord, we come against that right now tonight. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. May you have a blessed evening, and may the rest of this week be filled with His love.